I'm your host, James Jordan, and Emmy is not here today. Today, we have from Hello, it's Francesca. Hi, Francesca. Hi, guys. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Lots of people have been tweeting me their thoughts, but I like to have my own opinion on it. Watch the show. And I have to say, best week so far, in my opinion. What was your opinion of the overall show, Francesca? I have to agree. I, I, For some reason, the last couple of weeks, the dances have been good, but I've been expecting a little bit more because we're on week eight now. We're over halfway. Overall, there's normally a bit more wow factor, but I think this week, like you say, really took it up a notch. Should we, should we start by talking about Krishnan? Yeah. Krishnan, I feel like this week he had the hardest dance there is. If anyone was going to pull it off, it was him. He still did a great job. He's still entertaining. I still love them as a couple. I love him. I believe he is what Strictly is all about. Gutted to see him in the bottom two. I thought the public would have still voted for him, even though he was bottom of the leaderboard. Don't know why they didn't. I think it's perhaps because he had the samba, which in my opinion is the dance of death. It's really difficult to make it look good. This is the the stage where the celebrities get their pay increase because it's incremental. Um, so a little bit of inside information there. So I think he's lost out on um, a bit of a, a nice paycheck as well um, because when you get to Blackpool, I think they get a boost in their um, in their wages. And I feel gutted for him because I think he is strictly. Um, so yeah, sad to see him go. Right decision in the dance-off. I know that Shirley said she would have saved him. I feel putting the two next to each other, I think that the the clarity and cleanness of what Angela and Kai did, I would have had to have saved them. However, again, he had a much more difficult dance, a, a, a tricky stage. Um, and for me, she's becoming a little bit samey now as much as Kai is one of my favourite pros and I would have probably approached the whole thing the same as him. He's staying away from the sambas, from the jives, from the faster dances. I would have done the same. Do I think it's right that the show allows that? Probably not because they're cherry picking. Um, but I think the right person was saved in the dance off. It's hard, isn't it? Because obviously this isn't how the show works. But if Krishnan had had a dance, I can't. was it his American Smooth, him and Lauren did, not last week? but maybe I think it was the week before Halloween and they started on the stairs and that was really, really good. And I feel like if they had had that dance this week, they probably wouldn't have been in the bottom two. Definitely. If they had had Samba earlier in the competition, he would have breezed through because he was on that lull of everyone, you know, his exuberance and everything. Um, it's got to the stage of the competition now where everyone in the competition, um, apart from him, has had really some kind of, dance training um not sure about Bobby actually to be fair um but yeah he's he's up against it and it's hard because you're comparing him against the likes of Leighton who is a professional dancer so it, it's hard to know where the show's going because I I would have loved to have seen Christian and get to the final people on here might comment and say oh no absolutely not I love seeing the great dancing but strictly started it, the, the whole idea and concept of Strictly was taking someone that's not danced before and hopefully going through all the weeks and watching them progress and turn into a half-decent dancer. Not the best dancer in the world, but we've had other shows for that, like So You Think You Can Dance and things like that, where you get professional dancers. The public, for whatever reason, didn't vote for him. I'm shocked. But then when I look at it last week, he had quite a week. Um, dance and then this week wasn't his best um, so he's had two weeks in a row and as probably the weakest starts are left in the competition but I'm just gutted. I agree I felt really sad to see him go. Am I right in thinking this was the first time the judges weren't unanimous though? Interesting that so Shirley said she was going to save Krishnan. Yes but so it was also mentioned in Strictly the Truth last week ironically <laughs> <laughs> What the what so last week they weren't unanimous either? No, no, what I'm saying is we mentioned it last week that they're they're always unanimous. Oh, well there you go. And 
you know, one judge will mark someone a six and someone, another judge will mark that same person a 10. Yet when it comes to the dance off, they all suddenly agree. It's hmm. so that, yeah, this week they weren't unanimous. Um, I think maybe Shirley was um, voting from her heart, which I would have found very difficult to do. But I do agree with the other three judges that I would have probably saved um, Kai and Angela. Although I do feel that maybe she's run. She's amazing. She's been amazing for the show as well. But I, I do feel that it's kind of very samey now. And the fact that I know they're cherry picking her dances frustrates me a little bit because I think fair, fair's fair. Krishnan had a samba, which is the hardest dance that you can possibly get. Why would she not have a jive or a salsa or a, a samba as well? So um, I feel that maybe as good as she's been and as, as amazing as she is for her age, I feel maybe, you know, she's got to Blackpool, which they maybe wanted for her. Um, that's happened. I think maybe it would, it would be nice for her to go at Blackpool, I suppose, because it's such a iconic thing for her as well. I don't know. I don't know. What, what do you think about that? To be honest, I agree with you. I think they wanted her to get to Blackpool. Well, I think with the, sen the sentiment behind it, but I, it's, it's a hard one. Just speaking about their Paso itself, it, and the judges were seemingly really complimentary of it. I mean, they got 32, so that's a big improvement on last week. So do you, do you think she is going in the right direction? No, I'm going to say no. You know what I wrote down? Because I, like I said, I always write notes. I wrote on here, judges trying to make out she is better than she is. What do I mean by that? They're going, oh my God. And like, they're so hyper about it, standing on their chairs going, this was amazing. No, it wasn't. And the funny thing is, the public have been watching the show long enough that they know it wasn't. That's why she was in the bottom two. Yeah, because if the public agreed with the judges, they would have saved her. They didn't save her. So they agree with me. The judges were trying to um, make out, because they're the experts on the show, that it was something better than it was. Well, the other dancers then. So Bobby and Diane um, are up first on my list. Craig really wasn't very happy with his hands. But I, I have to say, listen, I'm not a pro, but I could see from some bits that he was really trying to make his hand nice rather than just like that. Do you know what I mean? As you said, he was trying to make his hand nice, put it in a... There wasn't any, like, softness through it. It wasn't danced. It was, this is a position of your arm. And, there, uh, you know, Diane did a fantastic job. Again, you can see that he's not a dance-trained person because someone that's dance-trained knows how to use their arms and their hands. So it's something that he will struggle with throughout the competition. It's not, it's, it has to be a natural extension of your body. I still thought the routine uh, was fantastic. Um, I think she's doing a brilliant job with someone that has got limited dance ability. I think they come across fantastic. Um, the only thing this week, because last week I thought they were exceptional. Um, this week I feel he lacks the power. I, I just feel that, again, I want to see a little bit more. It kind of gets quite weak. And I think maybe that's what Craig is picking up on, that, that he didn't have the same strength as when he did the Argentine tango last week. He totally took control. And I want him to do that in every dance. I would have given him a seven, same as Craig. So that, and he got booed for that. I was obviously seeing the same thing Craig was. Uh, Motsi and Shirley um, gave an eight, so only one mark better. Um, nine uh, from Anton. Uh, I also want to mention Vini's Waltz American Smooth is much harder than doing um, a Foxtrot American Smooth or something like that. So I, again, have to say well done to Diane because I think she did a fantastic job with the routine. And overall, I really, really, really enjoyed it. Yeah, I thought the performance aspect of it, like the, the story they were telling was really, really nice. 
Um, and that leads quite nicely to Nigel and Katia because they had a couple's choice. But actually, I, I know you're not the biggest fan of couple's, couple's choice, James, but it looked a bit like, I mean, obviously you can play to your celebrity partner's strengths in a couple's choice. And I think they really did that because it was quite American smooth style, actually, wasn't it? And I think it showed off his abilities really well. What do you think? Everyone knows I hate couple's choice. And I think this is the second time now I'm actually saying I really enjoyed it. It was beautiful. It was stunning. And again, it was the same kind of thing. It was almost a nod to an American smooth kind of contemporary number where you still had the lead and follow and turning under the arm. It wasn't doing hip hop or street dance or side by side stuff. <laughs> I hate it. Can't stand it because it's not Strictly. I admire it and think it's great, but I don't feel it has a place on Strictly. What Nigel and Katia did again, Katia, clever, clever girl. I keep saying it every week, thought the routine was fantastic. I feel, got to the judges and it was like, there was nothing, nothing. But you know that excitement that they had for Angela and Kai? It was almost like the reverse for Katia and Nigel. I don't get it. I, I feel if the judges had given nines and tens, it wouldn't have been wrong. And they gave eights and nines, way undermarked, in my opinion, from what they normally f flippantly give out tens for. Um, I've seen them give out tens for a much worse dance than that. I thought it was brilliant. There were no mistakes. I thought the routine was so clever. I'm not a lover of couples' choice, but if, if couples' choice was choreographed the way Katia did this or Johannes did last week, then I'm all for it. Well, with Ellie and Vito, they had a bit of a gear change from last week. Um, I loved their dance this week. Most people uh, say, oh, I really don't like the rumba. It's, it's, it's one of the most beautiful dances in, in the Latin. Um, but I'm going to let you continue because I want to hear your opinion first, actually. Well, I thought she smashed it. Like, I, I, considering I don't like the rumba, I, and I often find with, the rumba on Strictly, I always end up watching the pros because I'm it's because it's such a hard dance. It's very few celebrities who haven't been trained in dance before that can really pull it off. But I was watching her the whole time. But yet again, I think the same with Nigel and Katia. Anton said, you know, when I'm making notes, I try to look for something. I'm, you know, I'm waiting for something to go wrong, but I didn't see anything go wrong. But yet she wasn't scored as highly as last week. And is that just because it's a rumba? I have no idea. Again, I'm baffled. I will ask for anyone to show me a better rumba that has ever been performed on Strictly. Because I can tell you now, there hasn't been. You might have your favourite from previous series, whoever it might be, and go, oh, they did a really beautiful rumba. But I'm telling you now, if you watch them next to each other, I, I've... You know, I've been on the show. I've watched all the dances. I've commented every year since I've not been on. There has not been a better rumba. This was exceptional. It was next level. That's as good as it's going to get. So unless you have someone go on there that's a professional Latin dancer, it won't get any better than that. So it should have been a, a 10. So again, they were totally undermarked. So Nigel and um, uh, Ellie, in my opinion, when they got to the judges, it was just, it was very serious. It was, there was like, Johannes and um, Annabelle did a very average samba. They were on their feet. No, it was the best thing they've ever seen in their life. And I love Annabelle and Johannes, so I'm not taking anything away from them, but it's like they're treating different people differently. I don't, I'm, I'm confused because that rumba was exceptional. It was exquisite. It was beautiful. Apart from him having his top open because it just made me jealous that I'm not young anymore. I thought it was honestly, I put on here, show me a better rumba. Show me a better rumba. There isn't, you won't find it. If that had been next week at Blackpool, it would have been all tens. Um, and that's another thing, isn't it? It's like, is Craig, it, I said it last week, he's not giving his 10 out because it always happens at Blackpool. He's got to save his 10 till Blackpool. I think one year he get it, gave it out at Halloween week, but it was still a, a, a themed week. 
Um, I don't I don't understand it. Give what is deserved. They got eight nine nine nine. Minimum, it was thirty nine points. I was going to say it was not an eight. There's no way. Even I know yeah. that. I'm a novice with ballroom. <laughs> Never in a, if that was an eight. Let's just look at this. Let's talk about this in a bit more detail. Bobby and Diane got eight from Motsi and eight from Shirley. So an eight from uh, Ellie and Vito got an eight. So kind of the so Bobby got a seven from Craig. Ellie got an eight. So he's one point better than Bobby. Hmm. Uh, interesting. So uh, here we go. Um, Craig gave Angela and Kai an eight. Yeah, and when so, there's no so way. He, so he's saying Ellie and Vito got the same dessert, uh, the same standard as Angela and Kai. It's ridiculous. It's bordering on insanity. And the same as Nigel and Katya. He gave Nigel and Katya an eight. Um, so I, I just find it a bit baffling. And when when the public uh, come on my Twitter and say, I don't understand, I don't understand it either. I don't get it. Um, for me, I, I think the standard this week was so high. We'll just give out the tens. If they deserve tens, give them tens. Because it was such an amazing show this week. I thought it was fantastic. So actually, you're doing them an injustice because people are sitting at home going, they want to see these tens. Don't leave it till Blackpool just because it's a done thing that we, we don't give out tens too early. But then the same goes as in the semi final when they're trying to just throw their tens out. Like, if I had another 10, I'd give it. If the dance isn't good, mark it right down. What does it just Just mark what you see. And that's what annoys me about. The, the judging panel, they're not marking what they see. Right. And that's why this is strictly the truth. Well, you mentioned Annabelle and Johannes there. It was nice to see her let her hair down and go for it. And actually, when Craig and Moxie said that they were a bit nervous, I have to admit, I, I was, it wasn't expecting it to be as good as it was. No. I mean, this is where I felt that the judges' comments didn't match their scores. Because... When they were going absolutely berserk about it and the studio audience all stood on their feet, I was looking at Ola going, did I just watch a different dance? Because I loved them last week in particular when they did the couple's choice. It moved me so much. I think it was, it, for, for me, it's going to be one of the most memorable performances of the whole show because afterwards I watched the DT and realised what it meant. Um, the routine that Johannes choreographed was so... So beautiful. Um, but then they came out this week and the judges went mad. And I, I just, it was okay. I would have given it a seven. And then the judges, Craig gave it a seven and the, the others gave it three eights. But from their comments, you thought they were going to give tens. It was, you know, nice to see her let her hair down. But if we were brutally honest, it was still very stiff. There wasn't a lot of hip action going on. Um, it was okay. Is it going to be one of the performances that you're going to remember? No, no. it's not, is it? <laughs> well, let's talk about Angela and Carlos then, because I, f I feel a bit sorry for Angela because I feel like she's giving so, so much, but she doesn't seem to ever go on an upwards trajectory. I feel like she's kind of at a level, but she, I think she's really good. And when they, I think they cut to Craig straight away and he was like unforgivable gapping. And I was like, oh God. That didn't go the way they wanted it to go, did it? Did it? No, and I saw her face. Um, and I actually rewound it <laughs> and, and watched it again because um, out of all the things that he could have picked up on, the gapping for me wasn't the biggest issue because sometimes having that gapping can create a bit of softness in the routine. So um, I maybe understand why Carlos has allowed that to happen because if you stay connected to each other like you should do. So he's not wrong. Craig is not wrong. And there was a lot of gap in. Um, but I understand why Carlos has allowed that to happen because it will create softness when they're moving. If they are like this and move, I think that's where she becomes very rigid. I actually really, 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 really enjoyed their performance again this week. Thought the song helped massively. It was I put on here, perfect wall song. 
lovely routine. It was very so soft and floaty. Problem we have is her posture. She's still very stiff. So although the routine, everything about it was perfect, this was this could have been tens across the board if she could just soften her spine. And I know that sounds really easy thing to do, but it's not. But the length of her spine, you either ha have it or you don't. And unfortunately, she's quite stiff. So to, to for someone to create that softness, it, you're, that you're asking her to do something which maybe she can't. The same as with um, Angela Rippon, to say to her, oh yeah, but your posture's not great. She physically can't fix that. And we might be asking Angela to do something that she physically can't change because she is very rigid in her spine. And that's what makes her look stiff when she's moving. And apart from that, I thought it was beautiful. I would have given her an eight. It couldn't be less than an eight. Craig gave a seven. I think that's ridiculous. It could have been a 10 if she had her posture right, but I don't think she's going to be able to do that. And that's the only thing in her dancing that she's missing. She's missing that softness in the spine. Obviously, that wouldn't be in the ballroom what I did there, but she's, she's not got that fluidity. I'm not the, the um, softest person in my spine, like Ola is, for example, but I'm a man. I can get away with it. For a woman, when you're trying to hit that beautiful line and shape, it's much more difficult. Um, so I feel for her. And I am, they're growing on me as a couple as well, hence why they weren't in the bottom two, because she's clearly getting more vote. Yeah. And, well, I guess the final couple then who closed the show, Leighton and Nikita with their, I was going to say Paso then, not Paso, Argentine tango. I, I thought this was their best, personally. I loved it and I know Craig doesn't whip out his 10 at this point but I was so sure that it was going to be 40 I didn't I didn't for me as a viewer the average viewer I was wowed it has to be 40 it can't be anything less than 40 can it he actually said on Sunday I watched the results show and you know they do that bit where they come up to Claude and then they talk about the dances he said the reason why it wasn't a 10 was because of because of, what did he say? It was something about how the Argentine tango needs to be reactive. And so how he wasn't reacting. To Talking about just the same as last week, he said that Bobby didn't lead in his Argentine tango, which he clearly did. So again, it's just trying to justify the fact that he hasn't given his 10. Blackpool, next week, watch his 10 come out. It's going to be, oh, 10, yay! It's a joke, isn't it? It's, it's like, it's not Fair. It's 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 doing an un. It's it's not fair on these couples. I feel this week there were three couples that clearly deserved tens, um, and, and didn't didn't get them. Um, Leighton, um, and Nikita. Would I say it's my favourite dance of theirs? No, I'm gonna say no. But it was still worth four tens. You know what I find really hard. Um, about um, Leighton and Nikita. They're so good. It's so amazing. He's doing things, um, doing the female steps, yeah? People keep going on about lead and follow. Or you should be saying follow and lead. No, it's the male steps and the female steps. He's doing the, some of the female steps. I know I couldn't do it like he does because my body's not built like that way. I don't have that flexibility that he has. It's so exceptional what they're doing. But we can't forget, and I have to keep saying it, and people get annoyed by it, but he is a professional dancer. Let's not forget that. And this is, and it's not his fault. I'm not blaming him. I still would give it a 10 and say how amazing it is. I think it's amazing. But I still thought Strictly was supposed to be about teaching someone um, to dance that hasn't danced before. For me, there's no place for it on Strictly. Um, I don't see where else they can go with it. How how can you get someone better than him? He's he's amazing. He's brilliant. I love him. I think it's fantastic, but it's not strictly for me. And he won't win. He won't win. You, you're hearing it first on Strictly the Truth. He won't win because the public won't 
let him as a fully trained, it's his profession. He's a professional dancer. And that is not what Strictly is about. Yeah, it's hard, isn't it? Because I, I, I love watching people who are really good. <laughs> like, I love that. But equally, I love watching Krishnan as well, because I just thought he was so likable and so a joy. So then take away the judges and just let the public vote for who they want to keep in, because then it becomes fairer. Because by having the judges, you create a leaderboard, yeah? And people go, oh, yeah, but he, uh, the public didn't vote for him. How do you know the public are voting for Leighton? Because he's always at the top of the leaderboard. So he's pretty much safe every week. It would create a miracle for him to drop into the bottom two. So his public vote has not been tested yet. Um, so I, I just, yeah, I just feel I'm, I'm just confused with... Uh, the way the show is going because essentially I want to see people like Krishnan in the show. I'm gutted that he's gone. Um, I, as you, I still like seeing good dancing. But to what level are we going to go? We've got professional dancers on the show now. Um, and I know this might all sound very negative and I'm anti latent I'm not. I, 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 I'm, it, I feel sorry for him because no matter what he does, no matter how great... Leighton is, he can't win. He won't win, I don't believe. And that might sound really harsh coming from me, but it is the truth. I'm only trying to be honest. So who's in the danger zone this week? Danger zone. Well, we have to put um, Angela and Kai in there. Um, I don't know how many more slow dances there are that they can do. In a way, I'm really happy that she's got to Blackpool because, um, you know, she has been fantastic. She is one of the oldest. Is she the oldest contestant we've ever had? I think, I think. so. I think so, yeah. And still doing amazing. She's still brilliant. She's still fantastic. Any other year, she would have made the final. Any year that I was on the show, she would have easily been in the final. Um, but that just shows you that they're getting more and more trained dancers it, it doesn't mean that the professional dancers have got worse. It just means that the celebrities are getting better standards. Um, so, yeah, she's she's done amazing. I really like her, but I still think that she's going to be in the danger zone. And then we have to go. Oh, it's, it's hard, isn't it? I think either um, Annabelle or, or Angela. I don't think... I don't think Bobby, and I really hope not Nigel, because I think that would be a travesty. And it's kind of going that way, because the way the judges don't hype him up like they do everyone else, I, I, I think he deserves that. So he, I think that it's going to be between, yeah, Angela, Angela, and Annabelle. It depends what dance they're doing. I don't know what they've what they've got at Blackpool, but if Annabelle and Johannes have another moment like they did last week, they may not be in the bottom two. So who's your MVP this week, James? This week, I felt the standard was so high. If, if Leighton, Ellie and Nigel had all got four tens, I wouldn't be sitting here trying to argue the point with you because I thought all, all the performances were fantastic. I thought Bobby was great. Um, yeah, I mean, it's so hard. Who, if I had to pick one, mm. I'm gonna go. I'm oh, <laughs> really so I'm hard. Gonna, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with Nigel. Yeah, you know, I'm I'm a massive Ellie fan. I said from week one that she was my favorite, and she probably still is overall my favorite. Um, but I felt Nigel this week was so undermarked um, and I thought he did such a good job and he's had a tough run. Um, Leighton's been pretty brilliant every week. Ellie's been brilliant. I feel that, yeah, Nigel this week, I, I felt that he, he was my favourite. Yeah, I'm going to say Nigel. What about you? So my MVP is Leighton because I watched it and I, I agree with what you said earlier, like, I, th I thought it was their best dance. I thought it was the one dance of theirs that I watched it and thought that deserved, well, not the one dance, but, but one of the 
best dances technically that they've done but it wasn't necessarily my favorite there have been other routines like I really love their disco cha-cha that was amazing but I could see what the judges were saying when his foot sickled so that's why it probably didn't get a 40 but I thought this week their Argentine was worth a 40 so he's my MVP but Nigel is a very close second yeah I think you, you know you could argue e- any of them I love Leighton as well um, I thought it was amazing. Clearly four tens. Don't know why Craig didn't get his 10 out. I thought the show this week was exceptional. And again, that is massive kudos to all the professionals in Strictly. Yeah, the celebrities are doing great, but the professionals work so hard. I know how hard they work. I know that they travel to where their celebrities are. I know that they have to put the choreography together. They have to do all the pro dances. Um, you know, it was I left over 10 years ago, but I know they're busting their balls and they are creating magic out there. I thought it was such a good show. It was, they should all be very proud of themselves. I thought it was amazing. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and tune in next week for more Strictly The Truth. And please leave your comments below. We love reading them. Take care.